Hey, here's a, just a quick video to show you what I did to adjust my uh, auto plunge for Maiden here. This is a Maiden Pro, and uh, what my game was doing is uh, what I'm seeing online uh, with some folks. So if you just got a Maiden and the, the ball is launching a little bit off, uh, I'm going to show you kind of what I did uh, to make it work and what it's supposed to look like when it launches properly. So when the ball launches, it comes out of the guide right here, and as you can see, it takes a left curve. And what my uh, ball was doing was it was coming up to the left and just uh, hitting this post right here, just to the right of the uh, skill shot area and kind of breaking into the uh, lower play field. And that's not how it's supposed to launch. What it's supposed to do is it's supposed to go up the uh, upper loop here on the left side, all the way back around and into play. And it can come off of your uh, right flipper here. So moving over to... I think you look good <laughs> in strike. <laughs> Moving up to the uh, upper location of the guide right here, you can see there's a screw right there, and hard to tell from here, but there there is a slot on the flange that allows you to, to move the guide to the right. And what I did was I moved the guide as far right as I could, and the ball was still bouncing off of the uh, post here. So to get uh, to get at this, you can remove a screw on the gate here. You can move the gate out of the way. And then uh, you can take off the plastics on the right side. Now there's two plastics here, the top one and the bottom one. Uh, the top one is only secured to the bottom one. And then the bottom one is secured uh, with this nut right here. And then this post up here. So it just takes a few screws uh, to remove. And then you can pull off both plastics at once, get them out of the way. And then you can easily get to the, uh, to the slot where you can uh, loosen up that screw and then move the guide. Now if you need to pull the guide out, what I did was uh, just remove the two screws holding the uh, leveling bubble there. Then you can pull this whole metal guide out. What I did to, to get the ball moving a little bit further to the right or just not hooking as much to the left is I bent this area out a little bit more and then came up here, bent that one a little bit less to the left. So not to the right, but just less of a hard hook at the end. Then I uh, replaced the, uh, the metal guide, put everything back into position here. And you want to put the gate in place back as well because there is a small amount of drag on the ball when the ball hits it. So best way I found to, to test um, the ball trajectory, watching where your ball is going, is just go into the uh, service menu here. And what you'll also want to do is you want to pull on this little knob here so you have power to the play field. So we go to the service menu, diagnostics, coils, single coil test and you want to do the uh, trough so just uh, one one hit on the black button here and that'll test the trough it'll put a ball into the shooter lane and it'll auto plunge and this is what it's supposed to look like when it's working right there you go so up that uh, left loop all the way around back into the uh, play field off of the right flipper.